So hey guys, it's Zayant again. More Black Ops, because I had less Battlefield footage than I thought I did. And two of the pieces of footage I have are for the Three Lives to Live series, which I will, hopefully, someday complete. And, to be honest, I mean, Battlefield, when I'm playing with Culprit and the guys, that's, that's fine, I can do that. I can do that all the time. But Culprit and the guys aren't playing Battlefield so much anymore. I mean, Ertzy is, I know Harry Dix is, I know... A couple other of them are, but even when I'm playing with them, I know I could be having probably more fun and frustration with Black Ops. And it's technically, it's more consistent for me, at the very least. But for those of you who actually care about Call of Duty, I'm going for gold with the Vector in this case, which is why it's not having any attachments and I have no perks. And one of the things that I've found has really allowed me to have fun with Black Ops again is the fact that I stopped caring so much. In the Headquarters video I put up, I had Stealth Chopper, Warhog, my name VSAT, Warthog, and VTOL. And the thing of it was, it was getting to the point where my expectations were, for myself were so high that Every time I fail to accomplish a goal, it, it, it just drove me insane. And I had a talk with one of the guys I know, and he... I, I began, came to the conclusion that I should stop giving a shit. At the beginning of any multiplayer game, when I know I have no skill or anything, for the most part, I'll go into it with the mindset that I'm going to stink. I'm going to stink so badly that it's going to be embarrassing. But because I know that I'm new to the game, I don't know any of the maps, mechanics, anything, even with Call of Duty, when it's the core mechanic is the same. Every game. You know, there's there's guns, there's objectives, you shoot people and capture those objectives if you are so inclined. But the guns always feel a little different. Uh, the sensitivity in Black Ops 2 was really weird, to begin with, at least. The killstreaks and the maps were different from the original Black Ops, and but similar to Infinity Ward style. And so, for the first, you know, month, maybe half a month of Black Ops 2, I just went around with UAV or UAV and Hunter Killer like I have in this video. And I was fine, you know, doing fairly well gun on gun, throwing little drone buddies, is what I call them, all over the place. And so, it was a good time. But after time passes and I get better at the game, I start to raise my standards. Like I say, with this game, they got so high so quickly that it, the game sort of failed to be fun. So, I switched it back down, and I went for gold camels with the Vector. Through some mystical process, I used the Vector enough that I got enough headshots to go for the special camos, which lead to gold. I don't know why I used the Vector as much as I did, because out of all the SMGs, minus the Chikum, which I have not used yet, the Vector is by far the worst. Both recoil, damage, range, all of its crap. Even the hip fire isn't very forgiving. But I had like, I don't know, 10 or 15 more headshots with the Vector than I had with almost any other, PD any other SMG, so I went for it. And I got gold during this game session, which I was really happy about. Because now I don't have to use the Vector anymore. But, you know, it was, it was sort of fun while it lasted. But while I am enjoying Black Ops, and it is giving me life back for Battlefield, those aren't the games I'm going to be playing. In fact, I've already pre-ordered Far Cry 3, and I'm going to be playing that a whole lot. It may completely kill all of my time for Black Ops and Battlefield, which will in turn mean there won't be any Battlefield or Call of Duty content on my channel. There will be Far Cry 3 content as I find something interesting to post, because I will be recording each session of that. I might do a live comm session of that. Because I, I, I love first-person military shooters, but I've made it clear, if, for those of you who have been around for my Gaming History series at the very least, that RPGs are where I started. And while I know that Far Cry 3 is technically a shooter, in that it's first person, 
and there are guns, and you shoot people. It is primarily a sandbox RPG game where you specialize your playstyle rather than specializing your gun or your kill streaks or what you can do once you've started murdering people. And as much as I have trouble min-maxing, it's called, I still re find it really fun to just go into a new game like Far Cry 3 with the mindset of, I'm not going to be competing against anyone because I won't be playing the multiplayer. There is very little punishment for failure beyond having to reload a quick save if that feature's in there. And I can spend hours just looking at the skybox, saying that's the prettiest thing I've seen all day. And that's part of the game. In Call of Duty, no. If you're standing around and looking at the skybox for an entire match, not only are you not playing the game correctly, everyone around you will be mad. And so what this means for me, and for this channel, is that I'm going to start branching out. Games that I find interesting or fun, single player or multiplayer, even co-op, they're going up. If the game, I think, is entertaining enough. If it's not, it won't go up. I will still be posting Battlefield and Call of Duty, because I enjoy those games, and I can record those games and have fun recording and getting in cool sessions. But there's going to be some Far Cry 3 comms, and I'm going to try and make those as interesting as possible. There will be some Assassin's Creed 3. Crisis 3. Mm. If I ever get back into Skyrim, I might do a mod run through. Heck, I, I know that Square Enix is working on getting Final Fantasy 7 back on the PC, and if they do, you are going to be seeing some content of that. I don't care that the game is 15 years old. It remains my favorite game of all time. Like I said in my last Black Ops commentary. And so I'm going to make use of it. Because I can. It's my channel. Blah blah blah. So that's that. And now to wrap up a little bit that I've got a couple minutes. I want to just say how I've been having fun with Battlefield, even though it's been out for almost two years. I'm still having fun with Call of Duty. How I'm still having fun with these games that I haven't played in forever. The answer for me is variety. And I've said this a million times before, and here I steal a care package because I can. It's variety. I don't play one game and one game religiously. That's one of the fallacies of a YouTube commentator and the YouTube scene in general, is that when people define themselves on a single game, that's all anyone wants them to play. And it, the only game anyone will accept them playing. And if you have a million subscribers, but you've built 900 of thousand of those on Call of Duty, that's all you're allowed to play is Call of Duty. Whether or not you want to play something else, you're stuck. Now, that's not a complete truth. There are exceptions to the rule there. You can do other games, but you have to stick to that game. You can't play Skyrim while you're playing Call of Duty. You can't do these, these things that commentators want to do because they play other games, but they can't post them. And I think there are some serious things that can be done when you post other games, and that's why I'm starting out, when I'm still a relatively small channel, posting things up, posting other things. Thanks for watching.